hello dear friends welcome to my youtube channel mukesh english this is mukesh soni and in this video i'm going to talk about the third semester ba model question paper under bangalore university and bengaluru north university for 60 marks and the duration will be for 2 hours 30 minutes i have extracted this question paper from the textbook prescribed under bangalore university published by prasaranga now the part one, the unit one consists of the questions from the play, from the short play, The Boy Comes Home by A.A. A. Mill. This play is for 30 marks. So there will be 30 marks questions will be, will be asked based on the play, The Boy Comes Home. For the, Under this play, we have the three categories. Section A, answer any five questions in two or three sentences. Each question is for two marks. Question number one, what are the sacrifices that Uncle James claims to have made for the country during the war. Answer, Uncle James tells about his sacrifices in a very funny way. He says that he has done his part for the country by giving his nephew for, to the country, by suffering the shortage of potato and by paying the excess profits, profit tax. Question number two, what makes Emily tell James that he will find Philip different? When Emily went to fight against Germany, I'm sorry, when Philip went to fight against Germany, he was an immature boy of 19. Aunt Emily is very much impressed and tells Uncle James that Philip is mature and responsible. The war has greatly affected Philip's personality. Before going to the war, he used to do what he was asked to do. Now, he makes his own decision and nobody can dictate him. Army has taught him something and he is different now according to Emily, Aunt Emily. Question number three. What, according to Uncle, J Uncle James, has the army not taught Philip? The army has not taught Philip decision-making skills. Question number four. Why is Uncle James annoyed with Philip when they first meet? What changes does he expect in his behavior? Philip is very rude with Uncle James and demands money before attaining the age of maturity. He asks Philip to join him in his jam business. <clears throat> Sorry. He expects Philip to join in his business. Question number five. How does Philip prove that he is 25? Philip claims to have turned 25 when he was attending to demonstrate to his uncle that he has matured sufficiently to live an independent life on his own. Question number six, is that sort of fair, fair play that teach you in the army? How does Philip respond to Uncle James' query? Philip responds, good heavens, of course it is. You don't think that you want, you wait until the other side has got just as many guns as you before you attack. You are really rather lucky Strictly speaking, I ought to have thrown half a dozen bombs at you first. As at first, I have only got one. So he responds in such a manner that he would like to blast a bomb in front of Uncle James. <clears throat> Question number seven. Why does Philip say that coming home after the war itself is holiday? Is something like in a holiday. He says being in London is holiday buying an evening paper, wearing a waistcoat again, running after a bus, anything. It's all holiday for Philip, even after the war. So out of these seven questions, you need to answer only five questions. Each question is for 10 marks. Now, the section two under the play, here you need to answer two questions and each for five marks. What changes does the war bring to Philip's personality? Answer is, the war had a profound effect on Philip's personality. Philip was just like any other experience, inexperienced young man before going to war. He's matured into a man now. Before going to war, he used to do what he was told. He's now responsible for his own actions and no one can tell him what to do. He has learned a few things from his time in the army he is not the same person he used to be. He has learned how to deal with the people now. Mrs. Higgins is taken aback by him the way he handles her. He, also, he has also learned to use power to his advantage. Hence, the war had a remarkable impact on Philip's personality. Question number two. 
the play the boy comes home is about the generation gap discuss the playwright a millen has cleverly depicted the conflict between the generations in society when the two persons representing different generations are put together when they come together towards the end of the play uncle james is attempting to place philip in an employment who believes that he should not, he should take charge and eliminate other choices that philip may take may make which may indicate the persuasive role played by the older generation in suffocating the new dreams of the younger generations through economic and social morality powers and norms we start to comprehend the opposing role played by both protagonist who use their own power to force to contradict one another perhaps just as in uncle james dream where philip is willing to sacrifice another 4 years to study and become an architect philip's zeal to even to go to extent of losing another equal long 4 years to achieve his dream is crushed by uncle james authoritarian weight who wants him to start earning following the dream the entire scene becomes ironic as philip agrees to his uncle's wish and decides to join the jam production company owned by his uncle thus crushing the young generation's dream of achieving what they have truly aspired for question number 3 what is the importance of the dream scene in the play philip comes back to his uncle's home after a period of 4 years there he is received by the strict practices of his uncle's irrational rules philip's father has died and uncle james is his guardian on the very first morning after his arrival uncle james wants to discuss philip's future with him uncle is an old old fashioned man he holds orthodox views about treating young kids he thinks that he can dictate philip to do whatever he wants he is a short statured man with an un- unimpressive physical appearance but he has closed himself in the cocoon of severity his his inner weakness collides with his outward severity and this conflict induced him to dream a strange thing his unconscious fear and insecurity make him way view philip as a rude and bullying boy who tries to get his demands fulfilled on the point of gun which he dreams his dream is full of violence and threats he sees himself completely subjugated before the ter- before the terrorization before the ter- ter- terrorization and use of weapons by his insolent nephew his he dreams philip as a headstrong and imper- impertinent guy who can do to any limit the dream is so forceful that uncle james is unable to know that it's not reality but only dream uncle is badly influenced by the dream and when philip talks to him in reality he behaves in a very kind and considerate way to avoid the menacing situation of his dream uncle james conscious and unconscious blend together to constitute his dream and then it directs his consequent real attitude now you need to answer one question that's for 10 marks you have the choice here question number 1 again what is the importance of dream in the play the boy comes home <clears throat> so philip comes to comes back to his uncle's home after a period of 4 years there he received by the strict practices of his uncle's irrational rules philip's father has died and uncle james is his, is his guardian on the very first morning after his uncle arrival uncle's arrival philip james wants to discuss philip's future with him after the arrival of philip uncle james would like to discuss his future uncle is very old fashioned man and he holds orthodox views about treating young kids he thinks that he can dictate philip to do whatever he wants he is a short statured man with an unimpressive physical appearance but he has closed himself in the cocoon of severity his inner weakness collides with his outward severity and this conflict indu- induces him to dream a strange thing his unconscious fear and insecurity make him view philip as a rude and bullying man bullying boy who tries to get his demand fulfilled on the point of gun his dream is full of violence and threats he sees himself completely subjugated before the terrorization and use of weapons by his insolent nephew 
He dreams Philip as a headstrong and impertinent, impertinent guy who can go to any limit. The dream is so forceful that Uncle James is unable to know that it's not reality but only dream. Uncle is badly influenced by the dream and when Philip talks to him in reality, he behaves in a very kind and considerate way to avoid the menacing situation of his dream. Uncle James' conscious and unconscious blend together to constitute his dream, then it directs his consequent real attitude. The dream sequence has great importance in the play The Boy Comes Home for a number of reasons. The first reason and the most important reason is that it looks very awkward and immoral for a nephew to aim a revolver at his uncle and to make him kneel down and beg for his life. That is why the writer has used the dream sequence to relate this awkward and immoral situation. He makes the reader believe that all this has happened in a dream and it, he should not take it seriously. Secondly, we see that the dream sequence ends the conflict between Philip and, and Uncle James. Philip does not like Uncle James' authoritative attitude and strict discipline. He wants to live somewhere else. <clears throat> he wants his money and wants to learn some profession. While Uncle James does not want to give him the money until he is 25, we see that after his dreams, after his dream, Uncle James is a new man. Now there exists no conflict between Philip and Uncle James. He is now a reasonable man. Now he understands the problem of the young generation. Thirdly, the dream sequence is a source of comedy. After the dream, Uncle James repeats the same words as Philip has spoken in his dream. In the dream sequence, Philip says, If I am four years behind, so is everybody else. After the dream sequence, Uncle James speaks the same words and he says, Well, if you are four years behind, so is everybody else. These kind of sentences create comedy and the reader laughs when he reads these sentences. Therefore, with the help of the dream sequence, the writer has related a very awkward and immoral incident. It resolves the conflict between Philip and Uncle James and provides comedy to the play. <clears throat> Second question, explain the main conflict in the play, The Boy Comes Home. The Boy Comes Home is a light comedy. It throws light on the generation gap. The old generation thinks that the young generation is immature, just like schoolboy. It should obey the old generation. In fact, the young generation is mature and it, it can take the right decision. Philip is a young man of 23. He lives with his uncle James, who is his patron. He has returned after four years of the war on the very first morning, he comes for breakfast at 10 o'clock. Uncle James keep a strict, keeps a strict discipline in the house. According to his orders, breakfast is served at 8 a.m. Philip has row with Mrs. Higgins because of this. She threatens to leave the job if she's asked to prepare breakfast at 10 o'clock. Philip handles her very cleverly. Uncle James comes to see Philip. He wants to ask him to join his jam business. However, just before Philip's entry into the room, he goes to sleep. In his dream, he meets Philip. He orders him to join jam business. However, Philip wants to learn some profession. He wants to continue. He wants to go for architecture. Uncle James thinks that Philip is just like a schoolboy and he cannot choose a career for himself. To prove that he is immature, Philip relates his experience at Somme. However, Uncle James still insists on his own decision. He threatens to use the power of the purse. At this, Philip takes out a revolver and a bomb out of his pocket and frightens Uncle James to death. He agrees to do what Philip wants. So this is what Uncle James has seen in his dream. In the meanwhile, Uncle James wakes up. He is now a changed man. When Philip actually comes to talk to him, he is rather confused and repeats the same things what Philip has said in his dream. Philip at once agrees to join the jam business. Uncle James is not sure about his dream. The first conflict between Philip and Uncle James is that Philip does not like his, un his, his uncle's authoritative attitude, attitude. 
and his strict discipline in the house philip says to uncle james well we didn't get on too well together when we read the play the boy comes home carefully we find the authoritative attitude of uncle james he treats philip as an inexperienced schoolboy he thinks that he will decide everything for philip he says to emily i have decided that the best thing he can do is to come into the business at once he further says he'll fall it he'll fall in with my wishes said by uncle james he is ready to use his authority as a patron and aunt aunt emily ask him to let philip decide his career however uncle james says he may but i don't see how he proposes to do it as so long as i hold the purse strings this is what he has in his mind when he calls philip he just want to tell philip about his decision secondly philip wants the money left by his father to learn some profession however uncle james does not want to give him the money until he is 25 years old philip does not like it and says look here uncle james do you really think that you can treat me like a boy who has just left school uncle james tells philip that he will use the power of purse if he does not submit his orders he does not submit to his orders then philip uses the power of revolver and bomb he frightens uncle james to death and uncle james is ready to do whatever philip wants or philip says therefore these are the conflicts between philip and uncle james the play revolves around the two main characters uncle james and philip they represent different ages and different generations their their ways of thinking and outlook about life are at cross purposes their assessment and their motives the assessment and the motives are different the main conflict in the play is the future profession of the boy philip who has recently left the army and is free now the boy is energetic and is ready to do anything while uncle is <clears throat> while uncle is orthodox and wants to lead the boy by nose the boy and uncle both want to have their own will in the in this matter the boy wants to have a bold decision and wants to become an architect while his uncle likes to follow the same beaten path and offers him to join his business here starts a heated and violent dispute the boy uses the power of weapon while uncle proposes to use the power of purse the boy threatens and bluffs his uncle he uses revolver and bombs to assert his point and finally he manages to make his uncle listen to his point of view too subsequently uncle assents to boy's desire and the boy subscribes to his uncle's wish the whole dream is in fact a psychological study of a middle aged man who goes through a conflict in his own mind his unconscious his unconsciousness makes him uh, have a dream that weakens him and he yields before the boy <clears throat> now now we have the questions from speeches and we will be having question for 10 marks out of five speeches to remind you you have five speeches in your syllabus mahatma gandhi speech on quit india dr ambedkar speech <clears throat> excuse me Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam speech, Martin Luther King speech, Sarojini Naidu speech. I'm only woman, so there are. I'm only a woman. These are the five speeches in your syllabus. You have five questions. You you'll need to attend attempt two questions. <clears throat> how did Gandhi ji quit India speech pave? How how is Gandhi ji's quit India speech pave way for India's independence? within 24 hours of making gandhi speech the british government arrested gandhi ji along with several other several other congress leaders imprisoned with his wife kasturba ji in the aga khan palace in pune gandhi ji fasted for 21 days in protest kasturba ji was suffering from bronchitis and even had several heart attacks under imprisonment she died in 19 in 1944 just a month before gandhi ji was finally released even as the leaders were imprisoned indians took to the streets the next day on 
August 9, 1942 and started the Quit India Movement. <clears throat> How is untouchability not only worse than slavery but positively cruel as compared to slavery? This is a question from Dr. Ambedkar's speech. Untouchability has none of the three advantages of the unfree social order. Unfree social order mentioned above. The untouchable has no entry in the higher arts of civilization and no way to op no way open to a life of culture. He must only sweep. He must do nothing else. Untouchability carries no security as to livelihood, as to livelihood, none from the Hindu is responsible for the feeding, housing, and clothing of the untouchable. The health of the untouchable is the care of nobody. Indeed, <clears throat> the death of an untouchable is regarded as a good riddance. There's a Hindu proverb which says, the untouchable is dead and the fear of pollution has vanished, according to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar further says that, on the other hand, untouchability has all the disadvantages of a free social order. In a free social order, responsibility for survival in the struggle for existence lies on the individual. This responsibility is one of the greatest disadvantages of a, great, of a free social order. Whether an individual is able to carry out this responsibility depends upon fair start, equal opportunity, and, and square deal. The untouchable, while he is a free individual, had neither fair start, nor equal opportunity, nor square deal. From this point of view, untouchability is not only worse than slavery, but is positively cruel as compared to slavery. In slavery, the master has the obligation to find work for the slave, in a system of free labor worker, in system of free labor, workers have to compete with workers for obtaining work. In this scramble for work, what chances has the untouchable for a fair deal? To put it short, to put it shortly, in this competition with the scales always wagging against him by reason of this social stigma, he is the last to be employed and the first to be fired. Untouchability is cruelly as compared to slavery because it throws upon the untouchable the responsibility for maintaining himself without opening to him fully all the ways of earning a living. Question number three. <clears throat> what are the three visions of Abdul Kalam for India? What are Abdul Kalam's three visions for India? So Abdul Kalam mentions three important visions for India, freedom, development, and the third one, India must stand up to the world. So in detail, first vision, freedom. Dr. Kalam says that we have not conquered anyone. We have not grabbed their land. We have not grabbed the land, their culture, and the history, and try to enforce our way of life on them because we respect the power of others. Hence, his first vision is that of freedom. He believes that India got its first vision of this in 1857 when we started the war of independence. It is this freedom that we must protect and nurture and build on. If we are not free, no one will respect us. Second vision, development. Speaking on his second vision, Dr. Kalam further mentions that we have 10% growth rate in most areas. Our poverty levels are falling, our achievements are being globally recognized today, yet we lack the self-confidence to see ourselves as a developed nation, self-reliant and self-assured. So he mentions his second vision for India as development. He says that for 50 years we have been a developing nation. It is a time we have, we have to see ourselves as a developed nation, we are among top five nations in the world in terms of GDP. Third vision, India must stand up to the world. Further, Dr. Kalam mentions its third, his third vision for India and it's India must stand up to the world. He believes that unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. 
only strength respects strength we must be strong not only as a military power but also as an economic power both must go hand in hand dr kalam feels lucky to have worked with three great minds dr vikram sarabhai of the department of space professor satish dhawan who succeeded him and dr brahm prakash father of nuclear material he considers this the great opportunity of his life so this is how he mentioned his he mentions his th- three visions freedom development and india must stand uh, india must stand up to the world now let's move to the unit 2 the unit 2 which is for 20 marks and in this unit we are going to have the discussion of the presentation skills paragraph writing letter writing and commercial writing so the fifth section answer any one of the questions here the two questions will be given to you to develop the presentation slides and here you have to read the passage and from the passage you have you need to draft you need to extract the information and you need to prepare the ppt slides how you prepare ppt slide on the laptop or on the desktop here you have you need to draw the box and you need to fix the particular content you need to arrange the content in such a manner that where you give a very meticulous very arranged powerpoint presentation so you can go through this passage this is about new year you can go through the passage and based on this passage i have prepared the ppt like this the slide one which consists the topic sentence or the topic of the presentation presented by xyz then you can divide your slide you can divide the slides into the three four segments like the slide to i have given the caption food in china at new year and i have drafted i have referred or i have extracted these key points from the passage then slide three slide four and slide five slide five can be for the thank you slide here you can also draw some image if you are very much creative you can draw the image you can use the color pencils to make it more decorative one similarly you have one more option here you have one more passage you can go through other passage and uh, based after reading this passage you can you need to again develop the five powerpoint slides so based in this passage based on this passage i have drafted here five slides the topic birthday parties then slide 2 on the birth of a ch- of the birth of a child in china then slide 3 birthday parties slide 4 birthday in mexico and slide 5 thank you so like this you need to make the ppt slides or the presentations in your examination then in option to this you have one more demonstrative presentation i have not done here ppt presentation just i have given you an, an idea that you can you can fix up this information in the different slides and you can prepare those slides in a very presentable manner so demonstrative presentation on how to prepare coffee so you can give the you can make the five or six boxes and you can name that slide one slide two slide three slide four slide five so according to each slide in each slide you can mention the steps of preparing the coffee one by one so that will be the demonstrative presentation so presentation skills this is for five marks ppt ppt slides next you have here um, writing the writing skills where descriptive writing narrative writing and the comparative writing here you a person's uh, description will be given for example write a paragraph describing mr D- mr dinakar who is a soft skill trainer in company and he used the following hints so based on the hints you can look at the answer on the screen here about 30 years of age smart nose bright eyes neatly shaven dynamic confident neatly dressed passionate about work good leadership quality good orator clear voice so based on the information you need to construct the short and brief sentences by using um the appropriate conjunctions to make your sentences more effective and try to make it grammatically free uh, there should not be any kind of grammatical errors then um, we can say mr dinakar is a 30 years old he is a tall trainer with well built body straight nose piercing eyes he has a french beard he is always cheerful and dynamic he seems smartly dressed he has a loud clear voice he is a confident honest person who always values human relationships he is very passionate for work and always strives for perfection this question is for 5 marks so these 5 marks question under this 5 marks questions you need to 
write the two paragraphs on the two given situations. So second situation is given here, narrative paragraph. Narrate the event of celebration of Freshers' Day in your college and use the following hints. So these hints are given and based on the hints, I have developed the answer. Freshers' Day was celebrated on 10 September 2022. The first year students and the teachers were invited on the previous day. The stage was decorated with colorful flowers. The event started with a prayer from the final year students. The welcome speech was also rendered by the final year students. The retired principal was invited as a chief guest. His speech was really inspiring. The first year students were given a token of remembrance by the second year and final year students. The principal also addressed the gathering. Later, the water thanks was rendered. The first year students were entertained by the cultural performances by final year students. Later, a grand lunch was served to, to serve for all. So like this, uh, you can construct the develop the paragraph by, by using the hints given in the question paper. So this is how for the five marks you will be given here, two questions. Then next question you have here, th there's a one more question that write a comparative paragraph. Write a comparative paragraph of about, of about uh, 100 to 150 words. So like this, you'll be given here three paragraphs and you need to select one paragraph. So out of three paragraphs, you have to select here one paragraph here. So comparative comparison between indoor games versus outdoor games. So answers may be like this. Indoor games are, play, are played within a closed environment and a number of them are played by sitting at one place. They include chess, cart games, games played with the games man and dice, carom, etc. Whereas outdoor games are played on the ground or at least in open environment. Games such as Kabaddi, Koko are outdoor games. Playing out, playing outdoor games allows kids to develop more advanced motor skills than children who spend most of the time indoors, including agility, balance, and coordination. So like this, you can develop a paragraph for five marks. So dear friends, you will be given three questions. Don't get confused. You will be given three questions, three different kinds of paragraphs based on the given hints you need to develop. It's very easy you need to develop the answer for five marks. So you have here more choices. Then the most important letter writing. So in your syllabus, you have four types of letters, letters for inquiry, letters for order, letters for complaint and reply to the complaint. So you have a question here. You are Tejasvi, resident of ITI Jai Hind Colony, Mumbai, as a student of class 11 and wants to take up a summer course in computer graphic design. So here follow this format you can follow this format and the format is here the <clears throat> sorry the sender's address so already the sender's address is given in the question paper Tejasvi and its address then later date 9 february 2023 so don't write 9 slash 223 then receiver's address the director d capital director d capital and i and i and iit computer mumbai salutation dear sir madam subject inquiry for graphic design course body of the letter i am a resident of jai hind colony i have gone through your advertisement about the summer course in computer graphic design my examination will get over by the end of this month i know the basics of computer operation i also noticed that a computer graphic course design graphic design course would add a value to my talent I kindly request you to mail the course details with the batches timings. Thank you. Or thanks. Yours faithfully. There is no apostrophe in yours. Remember, there is no comma after faithful, faithfully signature and the name of the sender. So follow this format for all the questions. I repeat once again. Sender's address. Okay. Uh, sender's address. Date. Resource address. Salutation. DSM Madam. Subject. Body of the letter. Thanks. Yours faithfully, yours truly, signature, and name of the sender. Suppose you don't want to mention if the name of the sender is not given in the question, you can write down here XXYY. You are not supposed to reveal your identity in the examination until a pseudonym is given in the question paper. Now, you have another question in the choice. I told you there will be four questions, four or five questions for the letter writing. You need to attempt only one. 
so again it's a very good business you have only you need to answer only one question out of five choices next question write a letter of inquiry to the director nit computex seeking details on the course content eligibility fees timings future scope of the course so you can go through this this content i'll just go through the sequence again sender's address date receiver's address dear sir subject and uh, the body of the letter thanks yours faithfully tejasvi then the third question as the head of the music department of army public school indira nagar bangalore write a letter of order to mysore music association placing an order so it's a it's a letter of order when you say letter of order you need to mention some quantity and you need to specify that what product would you like to order so you can see in the body of the letter that how with the product name and the number of the products have been mentioned here and how the payment will be done that has to be mentioned by which date would you like to get it done get it reached and you can mention the previous communication like with a reference to your quotation and our inquiry dated 1st december 2022 you would like to order the following musical instruments so you can go through this content then another question another letter you have here you had purchased a mobile phone from a reputed showroom in mumbai but after a month it developed some serious fault so it's a complaint letter so same format sender's address date receiver's address dear sir madam subject body of the letter thank you yours truly yours faithfully so here you mention the uh, specify the bill number on which date did you purchase what is the model number and or any kind of invoice number if you have and what are the kind of damage or the the fault have you found and in what manner do you want the replacement replacement in terms of product or any kind of <clears throat> uh, bill recovery would how do you would like to recover this kind of complaint so like this out of four five questions you need to answer only and only one letter you need to answer you will have you will be having so many choices and i have prepared separate video on letter writing you can you can go through the link in the description box then draft a commercial advertisement for the inauguration of sports club without exceeding 50 words so this is again um this is commercial writing under commercial writing we have we have advertisement writing poster writing or brochure writing so this is your creativity always remember whenever you are preparing any kind of draft or the brochure write the organization's name company name write venue place timing brief description and possibly if you can draw any image you can make some sort of um, very elegant decorative piece of poster by using pencil color blue pen you have pencil also you have color pencils you can use it so that you can get 5 out of 5 marks so this is for 5 marks you can go through the the poster here about sports club inauguration then next one uh, design a poster for health mela on the promotion of good health and hygiene to be held in your college in association with rotary club okay so you can mention here the college name and what is the title of the program on which date from the timing the venue in association of whom and if you possible you can draw the image also the last question we have here desire to travel brochure this is very interesting Uh, you can see here two different posters one poster has only image and the other poster has a lot of descriptions so it's your creativity how elegant would you like to present your poster you can do it but mention what are the information has been asked in the question for example the travel brochure including the details of destination hotel service price accommodation so i have given just only the sample pieces here your creativity has no end so dear student this is how you can go through this model question paper and all the links of each topic i have done a separate videos on each topic i have done a video for the the play uh, the boy comes home you can go through the links in my description box all the five speeches all the five speeches uh, videos i have done these links are also pasted in the box in the description box even the presentation skills how to make ppt slides in the examination 
I prepared a video. You can go through the links in the box and um, the commercial writing, brochure writing. Okay, these videos, I have already done it. And moreover, the most important thing, the question answers of short play, I have prepared it. That video, have I have also done it. So all the, whatever the, the complete syllabus of your third semester, BA, all the chapters, videos have been done separately. Please find the links given in the description box. I wish you good luck for the examination. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe the channel. Click on the like button for more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.